Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty D Gaming, I'm Scotty D and today I want to show you how to quickly, easily and safely undervolt your i7 11800H processor using throttle stop and I'm also going to show you how to set up a task scheduler so that throttle stop runs on system startup so that you can set it and forget it. Let's go baby. Now, first things first you want to download throttle stop. All the information and all links will be in the description below. But if you are not confident following links, I 100% understand. So go to Google, type in throttle stop, and make sure you go to the Tech Power Up website because the Tech Power Up website is the official site of throttle stop. You want to download the latest stable version, which as of recording is 9.4, that's what I'm using. Download that to your download folder of choice. Once that's done, go to the download folder, go to the throttle stop zip, right click it extract it and then open up the extracted throttle stop folder and then double click on throttle stop and open throttle stop the first time you open throttle stop you will get a little disclaimer saying you understand the risk of using throttle stop now there are no risks you can't brick your system under volting or anything like that the worst case scenario is that you undervolt too much you get a blue screen of death your system restarts and you don't undervolt it as much Without out the way, I'm also going to show you the safest method and safest process to undervolt your system to protect against any blue screens. Now, last disclaimer if you open up Throttle Stop and everything looks like my screen here, you can change all these settings. You're two thumbs up, ready to go. If these options are grayed out, that means your BIOS from the manufacturer is locked. What I would recommend you do then is go to the manufacturer's website of your system. Download the latest BIOS and fingers crossed they've allowed an unlocked BIOS for undervolting and you can change these settings. Now, okay, let's get into the undervolting. The first thing you want to do, and this doesn't just go for throttle stop, this goes for a lot of other things in life, is you've got to make sure it's turned on first, lads. If it's not turned on, no matter what you do, it's not going to work. <laughs> so let's turn it on. The easiest way to see if the system's turned on or not, well, other than looking at this button, is if you go to the bottom right hand corner and select your hidden icons this icon is the throttle stop icon if it's red that means throttle stop is on if the icon's green it means it's off we're going to make sure it's on there we go next thing i'm not going to go into what this does but make sure you check the speed shift box and by default it's at 128 from my testing i really like it at 110 so set it there. Next, we're going to go into the options. And there's only a couple of things we need to check here. In the miscellaneous area, we're going to check the box next to start minimized. We're also going to check the box next to minimize on close. And finally, we're going to check which type of GPU we've got. I've got an NVIDIA graphics card. If you've got an AMD, you select the AMD and then click on OK. Now for the undervolt. If we go to this area here where it says FIVR, click that and we'll get this screen. So first off, we're going to change the undervolt for the CPU core. So make sure this box is checked. Go down to the CPU core voltage. Check the box next to unlock adjustable voltage and then go down to offset voltage. This is the only thing we want to change. Don't change anything else in this, in this area. So make sure the range next to offset voltage is Checked next to 125 millivolts and we're going to change it to minus 70. Now from my testing minus 70 is is and will be safe for I'm going to say it, it's it's a blanket undervolt for everybody's system. I've looked at other people's results online for their testing and minus 70 seems to be the general consensus that everybody can do and benefit from. You can also gradually increase the undervolt but start off with this now next we're going to go to the cpu cache we're going to do exactly the same thing unlock the adjustable voltage offset voltage 125 mv box checked and then change this to minus 70. now you might notice when i change this to minus 70 it's minus 70.3 that's because for some reason you can't click in here and just enter a value and if you can get this on exactly minus 70.0 you're a better man than me <laughs> so there we go once you've done that 
The next thing we're going to go to is the Intel GPU. Now this is just to change the, the offset voltage for the onboard graphics card of your processor. You don't really need to do this, but I do do it. On my previous i7-700HU, I was running this at minus 40. But because I haven't really bothered with the testing of this one much, I'm just running this at minus 30 because that is guaranteed to be safe. So set this to minus 30.3. Now, don't go clicking apply or OK just yet. We're going to go down to the bottom right hand corner where it says save voltage changes to throttle stop. For the first time you do this, you want to check the box next to OK, do not save the voltages. What this is going to do is it is going to save the voltages during this session, but if your system blue screens for whatever reason, on your next system restart, these settings, these under this undervolt won't be saved. So you're nice and safe. OK. So once you've set that, you want to click on apply and then OK. So that is currently, that undervolt is applied to your system now. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little test just to make sure that upon a heavy load, your system isn't going to blue screen and I can pretty much guarantee it won't. So we're going to go down to TS Bench. And this is a little benchmark that's built in to throttle stop. We're going to leave all the settings to default apart from the size because we want this to run for a little while. So 120 is the shortest one. 960 is the middle one and this is a good representation of issue if, if any problems with your system is going to happen because of this undervolt it will it will happen here so select 960 m and then just click on start and what you'll see is actually stop that what you'll see is this fid here is the the frequency of your your processors so as you can see that's 3.6 3.3 3.5 blah 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 once we run this you're going to see this is going to boost to its full clock speed of 4.2 gigahertz. There we go. So I've got a stable 4.2 on all cores. And we're just going to let this run. It'll take about, well, last time I did this, it took about 71 seconds. So you'll hear your, your system's fans ramping up. The, the, the temperature will increase as well. But what you can see here is currently the max package power, that's the, the wattage draw is at a stable 70 which is fantastic the current package power is is less than that which is excellent and the max temperature my systems hit so far is 73 degrees c but as you can see it's averaging mid 60s now because this is only a, a cpu benchmark when you're playing games chances are your your temperatures will increase now when i'm playing games my temperatures normally sit in between in, in the mid 70s, in between 70 and 76, I would say, which is a fantastic temperature for this CPU. And that's mainly because when you're playing games, your GPU is also going to be working, which is going to add heat into the system, which will seep over to your CPU. But as you can see, these temps are fantastic. This is about to finish. There we go. It's finished. It also finished in 71 seconds. And we didn't have a blue screen. Once you've successfully done that and you've had no problems, we're just going to click on cancel here then we're going to go back into fivr because we know everything's okay we're going to now check the okay save voltages immediately option click apply then okay and that is your undervolt settings done the only thing left to do now is to create a task schedule for throttle stop to start on startup so you can set it and forget it so on minimize throttle stop and go down to window search and type in task. The first option should be task scheduler, which we will select. And then we're going to go over to create a basic task on the right hand side. Now you can give it any name you want. Normally my, my actual setting name is throttle stop, but because I've already got that in the system, I want to call this TS Then click on next. When do you want the task to start? You want it to start when I log on. Don't choose when the computer starts because for some reason it's broken. It doesn't always work. When I log on works 100% of the time. So click on next. What action do you want the task to perform? We want it to start a program. Next. Now we, this is where we choose throttle stop. So go, go to browse and go to the folder that throttle stop is located. Click on throttle stop and click on open. And then click on next. 
Okay, so this is the summary page. Now we do want to adjust a few other settings. So at the bottom of the summary page, we want to check the box next to open the properties dialog for this task when I click finish and then click on finish. In the general tab, we want to go down to the checkbox next to run with the highest privileges. And then we want to configure it for your operating system, which chances are will be Windows 10. Then we want to go to the triggers tab to check everything's all right. So at log on of your laptop, it's going to be enabled. We want to go to the actions tab, start a program. It is going to start throttle stop conditions. Now in the conditions tab, we want to go down to the power and uncheck this box because we don't want it to have certain requirements to start or stop this process uh, under battery power or AC, AC power. We want this to run all the time. So uncheck the box. Go to settings next, settings tab. And the only two things we're going to uncheck here are stop the task if it runs longer than and uncheck if the running task does not end when requested, force it to stop. And that's everything. You can go to history disabled, but there's nothing in there and click on OK. And that is your task stop set up. Throttle stop will start upon you starting your system and it will run with the undervolt settings that we've enabled. To check that the task scheduler has saved it correctly, click on here, task scheduler library, click anywhere in here. And then just because we named it T, throttle stop or TS, press T on the keyboard, press T on the keyboard, <laughs> try that again. And as you can see there, that's the one we've just created because I was showing you as a demonstration, but that's my actual one called throttle stop. I am going to delete TS because I don't need this to start throttle stop twice. There we go, lads. So that is everything you need to know how to undervolt your i7-11800H. If you have any questions at all, comment on the video. I'll try my very best to help. And other than that, enjoy your lovely cooled system. Have a good day, lads.